Hello. My video is probably not the most exciting for today, um, but I just love the garden. And it's quite nice, even though it's November, I like that it's, um, although there's a lot of stuff dying away, there's still some really interesting things to look at and to find. Last view of the season. food on these stumps so it's not on the floor but the ground feeding birds can get to it quite easy. That's waters for the birds. I like to have baths in it whatever time of year. I feel kind of melancholy this time of year because um, things are dying back and the season's coming to an end and it reminds me of things coming to ends and that the autumn and winter also bring hope because I know it will come back in the spring it will all burst into life so when it seems like we've lost lost something. Um, it's just the end of a cycle that kind of begins a new cycle the next year. So it always fills me with hope as well, thinking, you know, of the things to come after things have ended. So, so November I thought difficult to to enjoy the garden in this time of year in a, in a video kind of sense because there's less flowers but it's more thoughtful and kind of represents for me the kind of cycles we go through in life which can be quite challenging sometimes so I always find myself here in the garden where it's peaceful there's a lot of knowledge here if we care to look for it, so which can help us in our everyday life. So that's why I love the garden and that's why I've shared this humble little spot of the world with you today in Britain. So Oh big pipe. <laughs> Can't really see it. But that was a red kite and they're absolutely beautiful birds and we're very lucky that we've got them here now. So it was a bit of excitement but you probably didn't catch it on the camera because my camera is too small but oh, I'm just in awe sometimes. Just when you least expect it nature always surprises us so there's a good lesson there as well. So, so this is my day in the garden I hope you enjoy it.
this bit. Oh, I suppose it is when it comes to the beach, isn't it? Every two pound parking charge helps you keep Bone and Peaches special for you. <laughs> oh look, they've made it. They've yeah. put a hump in the road. Yeah, don't put that there. <laughs> I don't know, they've only just done it, haven't they? Uh -huh. They've made a mould and uh, a mound and stuck some grass on it. <laughs> <laughs> funny. It can't be because people are speeding down here. Some of them might be, I don't know. It's strange. Oh, a lovely bit of autumn colour. Let's see if we can get the park really close. So I park here. Yeah, you like to buy that? I suppose you can. Yeah. Are you with my mum? <laughs> <laughs> Me. Day <laughs> out together in Fernham Beaches. <laughs> oh, dear. Do you want to be in it? <laughs> it's like really boggy. Ew. Oh, they have. Oh, I was going to take you across the boardwalk, but it's shut. Closed from September until November, so the mere is undisturbed by amphibians and reptiles going into hibernation. Oh, well, that's fair enough, isn't it? I thought I don't remember having to climb over something like that. <laughs> the mire. Boggy area is very special. Many of the plants and animals here are quite rare. Don't go back any further. <laughs> <laughs> fall in the swamp. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's just beautiful. When we first came up, oh. Which way do we go? hole in it. I think we can actually go inside. I love these amazing trees. Oh, there we are. That's actually incredible. It's like a little den, isn't it? Oh, George, like that, didn't George was absolutely, would absolutely steps, love it. Steps up there, I know. It? It's like a little um, playhouse almost. But from a, I mean, how old do you reckon that tree? I mean, that, that must be about seven or eight hundred years old. I know it's not alive anymore, but the size of it is massive. Mm. You think the lake's that way? Oh, it yes, is. it is. Ooh. And it is the second lake as well. Well, next time we come, come up, so we come with George, we'll come this way. Yeah. It's not much further, but you get... Oh, look at the yellow leaves as well. Yeah. It's not that much further, but no, it's... it's um, not really. Makes a bit of a change, coming a slightly different way, doesn't yeah. it? Is it 
the second of the week? Yeah. yeah, they're both very similar. I can assure you it's not the usual lake. Oh no, it isn't, because the statue's missing on the other side, isn't it? I think it's the horses. Oh, that's just beautiful. It's kind of eerie. It's kind of misty. Hi. So that's my day in Britain. Pretty average. Not that exciting, but um, keeping it real. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.